Remember Vampire Survivors and how it became an instant classic by taking over the internet for a while with its simple brilliance? What about Holocure, a game made by a hyper VTuber obsessed fanbase that includes butt plugs and anime wifi? Or how about Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, the most recent survivor like which recently took over Twitch and had everybody and their dog playing it? Survivor likes are arguably the most perfectly casual game. One life, a time limit, and a whole lot of enemies make for near infinite fun. That's probably why every single game company and their aunt are making a survival like game, because they essentially print money. In any case, as a massive casual myself, I too am a big fan of these games. And so for this video, I will be playing five of the sexiest and most popular survival likes to determine which one reigns supreme. But there's a twist. Just like in game, I will only get one life, meaning once I die, I must move on to the next game. Also, if I die in the game, I die in real life, uh, which sounds painful, but don't worry, I'm part feline, so I still have four lives left. <laughs> All right, so first up we have um, photosensitivity warning, one of my favorites. Uh, this one is basically, uh, you know, experiencing lightheadedness, alter vision, eye or face twitching, jerking, shaking the arm and legs, disorientation, confusion, or momentary loss of awareness. And basically what you want to do is, uh, you know, try not to seize. It's a great game. You guys should try it out with all your friends at school. Uh, no, we are playing Vampire Survivors first. Um, I'm using a controller. Uh, if you judge me, you know, me too. So you're not alone. Uh, uh, but yes, I'm a controller Andy. Press to start. Now, I have played it before. Not too much though, but also quite a lot. Um, but essentially, like, let's see what I've unlocked. Okay, so basically it's reset. <laughs> I have zero money, nothing. I mean, f Right, it has fully reset. That's actually really good for the video, but my heart just uh, died. That's okay. All right, so we are really playing. So again, remember the rules. I have to play all five games. I get one life per game. And we're starting with Vampire Survivors, the classic. Classic on the channel. What's with my hair? Off. Antonio Maralda. Sorry about that. I hope that wasn't racist. Antonio Bapazzi. Gains 10% more damage every 10 levels. Max 50%. Let's go. Now, apparently I haven't discovered anything. Ooh. Oh, we got 30 minutes. So I have to beat it. 30 minutes. Okay. Interesting. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. where are we? Do we want to play Mount Moons? But that looks fun. This one has Smurfs in it. Ooh, I do love to Smurf. I reckon we go classic. We've got it, right? We've got to go classic. Here we go. So the aim of the game if you're not familiar with Vampire Survivor Likes, is to get sucked off as little as possible, all right? Just like in real life. So yeah, you wanna you wanna suck the bats off. Okay, and now we level up. So you grab gems to level up your XP, and then you wanna pick up some stuff like spinach, Popeye style, the Bible, like pedophiles, uh, or magic wand like Harry Potter. So I reckon we go... Let's go spinach. 10% damage sounds pretty juicy. And I do love big, oiled up, muscly men from the 60s. Yeah, you just want to collect gems. You level up really quick at the start. Okay. Santa water? <laughs> That's what he's calling it now. Uh, when I was on my knees in Santa's workshop, he didn't call it that. Uh, whip or axe? Ooh. Axe doesn't even tell you what it does. I'm guessing it goes around you. I can't remember. Yeah, let's do axe. So your health comes back, I think. That doesn't matter too much. Man, that axe is so good. I'm so glad I got that. Ready? Yeah. Okay, it's good for above and below. Now you can see different enemies coming in. Uh, so your mom is right there on the screen. There she is right above me. Juicy. Oh, and there's mine. Looking good, mom. I think the blue... Ooh, it's a moolah. And the money is separate from the gems in that it's for, like, different modifiers in the menu. And we can see on the left that we've got max health the weapons stuff like that i reckon fuck i mean spinach is still pretty good right fuck it let's get the bible let's kill this fucking do a little bit of an excursion around these fuckers see at the start you've kind of got to be very careful okay got him so yes the goal which i haven't explained is to survive 30 minutes okay treasure what do we got x marks the spot baby another axe and 177 dollars just like my yearly paycheck okay Oh, good. Harry Pottering. Ah! A horde of suckers. Now, why isn't my health coming back is an interesting question that we have not 
got the answer to. Holy fuck. Yeah, this game is no joke. No joke. I mean, we're, we're doing all right. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's do knife. Shit. They just sucked me off dry, basically. Now, figure eights are your best friend in these types of games. That one sucks, man. You want to quickly run in there, try to grab all that. So yeah, you can see how quickly the gems do nothing at all. The other trick is to basically do a huge figure eight and walk down and back around. Um, let's do... Fuck, I guess the Santa water, because we're doing no damage. Okay, now we got some ghouls. Some gulags. Alright, we're only at four minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm so screwed. Why did I do this? Okay, let's do... More Santa water seems to be very strong. Oh, man, I am doing so terribly. How do I get life? Oh, I see it. I see the treasure. Yes. I don't know how to skip this. Another whip? Or is that a legendary whip? What is it? All that for that. Okay. Bible doing fuck all. Just like real life. Oh, juicy. We don't want to worry about collecting anything. We want to kill. We're getting destroyed out here. I think we need to bunch them up a bit more. But I do like them being above me. Maybe I was moving too quick before. I reckon if I get touched again, I'm dead. Just like in real life. I haven't been touched in years. Yeah, basically just relying on the... Oh my god. What the fuck was that? There's more! Oh, food. Okay, we gotta find a way to get back over there. Oh god! Did I get him? Dude! They are ruining my life. I've gotta go back up, but how? Holy moly, man. I need to go up. Okay, here we go, up this way. Up and around, baby. There we go. Okay, let's collect our work. Excellent. Santa water seems to be doing quite well, so we'll do more of that. Oh my god. Satan. Good. Okay, there's another bat. Could give me some. Holy fuck. Yep, I really need to kill him. Got him, fuckers. Oh, I need that. Desperate. Okay. Treasure. What is that crap? Is that a fucking butt plug? What is that? Magic wand, but it's so bad. Hallelujah, holy cheater, yeah. So you can kind of cheat by obstacle blocking, but, uh, oh shit. A bit lame, but that's the end. Yeah. All right, that's the end of Vampire Survivors. So I made 11.28 before they decided to kill me. That is on purpose. I promise you that wasn't me at all. Um, it was the game. Uh, it wasn't me at all, and I really look forward to playing the next game. <laughs> okay, so there's my stats. Um, you know, if I sucked, let me know in the comments. Uh, Antonio Balpessi. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm blaming him. I'm blaming Antonio Balpessi, a Balpse, Bippy, as I call him. Uh, yeah, that wasn't great. All right, that's Vampire Survivors. Moving on. Okay, next up, we have another uh, instant classic. I haven't played this one at all, ever. This is Halls of Torment. Uh, I've seen, you know, Asmongold play it, Admiral Baru, uh, Lyric has played it, Germa famously played it. Uh, he got an Oscar for that, I believe. That was great. So yeah, this is Halls of Torment. Let's get into it. I hope they have controller, because I'm a pussy, you know. Everyone in the comments, spam. Nate Luke is a controller pussy. <laughs> Okay, Swordsman, uh, base health, blah, blah, blah. Focus on survivability, scales well with area and range. Okay, S -s -s area and range, remember that. Uh, every 10 levels is 5 damage, every level up is base health and base damage. It says Y Hunda. It says Y Hunda. Alright, oh, we don't have any other choice. So it looks styled after like mid to late 90s stuff. The Gates of Hell is down here, that's cool. So it's like uh, Vampire Survivors is very much just like, you know, options load in. This seems to have like a like a starting area. It reminds me of Diablo 2 a lot as well. One of my favorite games ever. Um, oh, we're going to the halls of torment. Sorry about that. Okay, move, aim. Oh, this has an aim. Attack, auto attack, auto aim. The auto aim's pretty good, I must say. Shit. Then I'm guessing this one. So many base health, six percent. Regen be better. Whatever, let's get pickup range because I don't, I don't know. I probably just committed blasphemy and you're like hating me right now. Oh, I off your hate. Oh, spray me with your hate, viewer. Sorry about that. Oh shit, what are these? I just want to get this yellow thing. I don't know what it is. 
What if I'm going towards nothing? That would suck. Okay, so you can't store potions. Interesting. Oh, our first big boss. <laughs> Grab those. Um, base health. Just strong. Let's do that. I'm feeling strong. That's my strong hand. Let's do it. I'm gonna go. Weirdly, I'm glad. Glad I got 30% pickup range. Seems working well. Ah, uh, I see why auto aim can suck. 10% area. I don't, yeah, see, that was good. Come on. Give me those points, baby. Good. Attack speed. Movement speed. Let's do that. Oh, man. They hit so hard, though. I think I need some regen. Oh, okay. I do have regen. Good. Kill those guys. Yeah, you can also... Oh, shit. Whoa. Dude, what the fuck? Yep. Well, this might be the end. How am I meant to avoid him? Right. So it's a very figure eight boss. Okay. Picking stuff up. Shit. Movement speed 100,000 fucking percent. This dude is crazy fast. Dude, fuck yes. Oh, whew. I need physical therapy after that. Ha, ha, Not even joking, that. Choose one item. Defense and block strength. Health and defense. Oh, we're gonna go the hood, right? Health and defense. Easy. I like the auto aim because you don't have to think as much. Whoa, we got mages up in this bit. When the fuck did they get here? Okay, definitely got a figure eight now. Oh, dude, they hit so hard. I just wanna survive. I wanna make it through one. Oh, how many there are. My orbs are so shit. Okay, we're gonna have to walk back that way. Beautiful, hit 20 enemies with a single attack. Excellent I love that they let you regen in this one. Vampire survivors that don't even let you regen like way later in fact they try to kill you no one really pays it any mind but i mean i think it's pretty goaded okay this one's strong we will regen our regen till the cows come out this is i'm gonna tell you guys a little trick in bitchy games normally 99 percent of the time in most games health and defense are the most important stat to get because you will live the longest Hades is a great example of this. If you can just survive, you will likely make it through. The only time that doesn't work is, you know, big big bosses like the end boss in Hades. I am, what are these things? These look like my mom, my ex-girlfriend. Um, okay. Back speed, damage. I say we just got damage, right? I'm sure there's a cap. Probably gonna hit the cap soon, but the it. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Range. Area? What's the difference between range? Fuck it, let's go crit. What's that goop? Does that acid kill them? No. Does it regen them? Fucking hope not. Okay. A bunch of treasure. Beautiful. Alright, so those things are crazy worth getting. These piles. Force. I, I don't know what force is. Fuck it, let's try it then. What is force? <laughs> Use the force, dude. Neat loop. Okay. The boss isn't even on my screen because of these fuckers. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here. There he is. Got him. Okay. Quick hands. Crit bonus. Let's do it. I need some crits to take care of these fuckers. That's better. I'm kind of on my standstill. Oh, no! How is he still alive? What is that? Dude. The fast ones? They do not want me to win. Holy shit, dude. This is why figure eighting is so important. And movement speed. I'm so glad I took movement speed. I need fucking defense. So I'm getting ruined. Okay, stuck him behind that. Don't you dare. Get away from me. Freaks. I need health, man. Oh, there's that other boss. I got him. Man, those fast skeletons suck. They're basically a movement speed test, you know? They're testing the speed that you move. That dude is not joking around. Okay. Um, man, lightning. I think stuns are important. Let's do lightning. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know what force is, but we're gonna do that. It just says it helps everything. Dude, he is so strong. At least I'm leveling up a bunch. I'm so glad there's auto attack because my right thumb is so sore. Walk 5k. I just did a half marathon. Woo! Only time I'll ever do one. Fucking hate running. 14 minutes left. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Oh, fuck. Dude, no. Oh, my God. I need to really focus here. Oh, I think it's over. Holy fucking shit, dude. Dude. This is no joke. This is so hard. This might be harder than Vampire Survivors. I really want to kill him. Okay, I need to go back. All right, I need... Yeah, health. Fuck it. I didn't care what I just dropped. That was worth it. 
Oh my lord. I think the lightning was a great choice, actually, because it's like water mated sort of. Why are the mages so hard to kill? They're mages. Oh my lord. Come on, we gotta kill him. Oh no, these things hit so hard. Dude, <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> it's so hard, I'm like shaking. They do not want me to live. Do have any base health? Lock me in. Another one! I think I chose the wrong skills, my friends. Let me know in the comments if I fucked up here. I do not think I'm gonna make this. The lightning and the orbs are my only bet. It's over. They do not want me to live. Dude! <laughs> There's so much going on! How can you not get hit? You have to get hit. More health. I think the only bet is if I can kill a boss. Just not looking likely. Yeah, it's over here. That's it. Dude, how am I, how did I, how did I survive that? How did, how did, how did, this isn't even fair. Dude. At least it slowed down. That dude sucks. Done. Oh. 20 minutes on the dot. I was 10 minutes off. That was my first time playing Balls of Torment. I mean, I think I did pretty well. Comment below, what do you think? Did I do well? I am literally adrenaline pumping. Whew. That was hectic. Hectic, hectic. Uh. Hectic. Holy moly. I beat like half the quests. Dude, I really thought I was going to make that. I did 390k damage. My DPS was pretty bad. Yeah, those orbs sucked. Lining sucked too, but I think it was good. Oh, I did 390k for just that. Oh, maybe that Wheelie was my best. Oh, well. That was fun. Alrighty, next we have a game called Death Must Die, uh, which is a bit ironic. As always, I'll be playing with the Pussy Controller. All right, Death Must Die, because everybody croaks sometimes. Six shot, hey. Oh, we're in. Dash. Wait, hang on. <laughs> uh, okay, auto attack is L1. Okay. So you still gotta look. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, oh, it's fast. So, so far the difference, this is much more similar to Vampire Survivors. There was no like loading area, you know. Um, what does a bonfire do? Reminds you of home plus three max life. Oh. Hey, you're the one time gave their hourglass to, huh? Okay, that is just, ugh, why is that in a video game? I mean, I might just save that for later. She's hot. Okay, she's gonna help me out. Now, meteors fall from the sky. Dash, your attacks from the strong by burning. What are you gonna do? Burning. I love how in all these games you can trap enemies behind like a thing. Now, this one, I feel the most overpowered by far, by far. Like I feel strong as fuck. What's that? Our life? Yeah. Don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I feel unimpeded. Oh, I got move speed boosts. Okay. Shit. Oh, I'm summer, by the way. Okay. This is like a Hades crossover. Uh, I guess we'll do meteor shower because it's auto. Grab that health. Oh, you can hit the fireballs. Sick. I need to kill those quicker though. Right, and he can't attack. Wait, did I just get something? Ooh. Okay, so you can get. You can even get weapons. Let's. How do you... Sick. Okay, it's a little bit slower, I see. This game is interesting. It's almost like Diablo 2. Diablo 2 met Hades, met Vampire Survivors. Um, Every few attacks you breathe fire, your spell damage is increased. Well, that's overall. Let's do that. 10% damage. My meteors. Powerful sword. Oh, yeah, dash. Okay. Shit. Don't. I can't die right now. Okay, so this one has a dash, which I don't love because I have to actually play the game. Ugh, yucky. Okay, what do we got here? Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could... Alrighty. So it's pretty much the same skills. Combust is kind of lame. I guess we have to do incineration. Or is that better? Man, I can't tell. Whatever. Breathing fire sounds cooler, so we'll do that. Now, powerful sword. What's this? Knight only. 122. Ah, oh, they suck. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. You can pretty much... Oh, the dashes are down there. Okay, I didn't know. Thought I had unlimited dash. Now, is there is a timeline up the top. Dude. Hello? You feel very powerful. Like, straight away. I do like that. 
Cool feeling. So they explode. Shit. You do not have much health in this game. Let's do the dash one. So they, they want you to dash, so you may as well use it, you know? The dash kind of makes it a bit easy. Like, too easy. I almost wish they didn't have the dash. Now, where's this boss? What's this? Peace of mind. I just want my fucking health back. Fuck. What is that thing? Oh, you can double dash. That's interesting. Oh, they red stuff. Oh, okay. Here we go. Interesting. Yeah, this is a dash game. 100%. Okay. What kind of legend would it be without some fire and mayhem? True. All right. Now, this is where you get big boy stuff. Um, let's do combust because no one's hitting me. Chuck the greaves on. Oh, come here, big boy. Oh, big old explosion. Hero, oh, daddy. Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Sorry about that. Task you with defeating death. Okay. Um, your attacks have a chance to create a chain that rotates around you, damage and rupture, and knockbacking. Knockbacking. Ah, uh, yes. The knockbacking. Well, the first one does the most damage. It sounds sick. Hmm. Man, they all sound kind of cool. Oh, you're going to attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Fuck. Enemies hit by your attack. Affected takes 30 damage for one range. It's better to add a new power, I think. Shurikens. I don't want it. Shit, dude. Fuck. No, I can't die. I cannot die. Why can't I get health? Dude. Why can't I get health? So we fucking hate Death Must Die. We hate this game. Spam it in the comments. We hate that game. That was unfair. You can't get health back. You're so OP, but you can't. You can't. Just don't even, you know? Just don't. Unfucking believable. All right, so you unlock all this shit. Our hourglass has Fucking time back. has a vagina head. Fuck you, time. Step into the water. Death will. Yeah, fuck you, death. All right. Leave it there. So that's, that's that. Now I've got two left and uh, up next is a very special one. Note loops, do I consent? I consent. In the year 20XX, an unexpected online takeover began. A group of new idols surfs on the internet known as virtual idols. VTubers. Skeptical, they get many fans. Many grew to love them, a little too much. Parasocially. An evil force came in. Evil brain force, the fans sent to mindless minions blinded by their own love. Parasocial. That's helped their fans come back to their senses. There we go. Okay, so this is the like weebiest weeb game ever. Oh, there it is. Plug of Zibulti. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've seen a lot about this game. Never played it. I know Asmongold played a lot. Oh, look, you got five to start and then you unlock the rest. Dude, the blue one over here looks sick. Where's Iron Mouse? Oh, there. Uh, who else do I know? Billion, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Viki, what's her name? Soda's girlfriend? Veronica something? Anyway. This is Holocure. Save the fans. Here we go. Ooh, Scythe. Summon Tentacle. Well, we know where that comes out of. Trident Thrust. Pistol Shot. Ooh, that is cute. I think we're going to go the Scythe, though. Yeah, we're going Scythe. Mori Calliope. Stage or Endless? I reckon Stage. Yeah, we want to beat it, right? Okay, here we go. The WSD to move. Left click to toggle or right stick to aim. Music sick. Okay. So it wants us to... It feels very much like Vampire Survivor's Dawn anime. What's wrong with that? Ooh, okay, coinage. So I'm guessing coins. So the play buttons are for XP. Coins are for... Oh, here we go. Crit chance, more damage, shields. Let's do shield. I know. I'm planning for later now. What are those little shrimpies? Look at them. They're little cute shrimpos. I could either eat or insert those for days. The music is goaded, dude. It's so good. I can't believe one person made this game. I'm gonna have to go through it. Okay. Area attack, healed, miasma. Yes. But, ooh, nice. What do we got? Picky picky pie, man. 20 XP. Oh, yep. This one's really good. But every six of them, you get more damage. So you get more more HP, and then you get more damage. Once you invest in it. Pretty good. Um, <laughs> Do I do the plug? I have to do the death, but I will do the plug if it comes up again. I'm basically stand still. Lava. 
This one's just too strong. Nice. An anvil, huh? All right, see, it's starting to get a little bit harder now, which is good. Uh, okay, we got three, four new ones. Let's see if we got range. Not to think about them too much. Just enjoy the moments. I feel like I'm walking through them all. Not really doing much. Fine, I'll get the butt plug. Because you guys wanted it. Oh, shit. So you can't kill those ones. Interesting. Food. More food. Yeah, this one feels a little too easy. Again, it's it's level one. They want you to have fun with it. Get the nurse's horn again. Can you actually just... No, you can't stand still. Okay, that's good to know. Brown, 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 brown. That's a big prawn bitch. A big prawn bitch. Bitchy, holly, molly, roo. Bali, bali, boo. That's a prawny slut, slut. Bitchy, bapaloon. Damage. Night milk. I love pickup range. I'm a lazy fuck. Dude, how long does it take to kill this motherfucker? Okay. Let's do this one. Doing well. Okay, now I've got to start on some figure eights. I'm guessing it's gonna, it ramps up like rapidly now. There it is. Um, 30% chance to create an explosion, or we can do the shields. Fuck it, let's do night in the mail. Hollows on delivery service. Ee ee ah ah ooh ooh ah ah ha ha ooh woo ooh woo. They make me do that. It's not by choice. Gain okay, shield. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Okay, my butt plug is doing the work. Um, and also it's working in the game too. <laughs> um, workaholic. Okay. It's a new one. Ooh, some shrimpos. Can they be killed? Doesn't seem so. Uh oh. Get out of there. Nice. Got them all. What are these flowers? They're just decoration. The wrapper. More damage. Yeah, we'll do that. Hamburger. Eat over 50 hams. Hams in the burgers. More hamburgers. Oh shit. Big boy. There he is. Oh, he smacked me. I don't have enough movement speed. I don't have any movement speed. Um, Scythe swing. Yep, just basics. Back to basics. And oh, got it. Let's do, what? Ah, oh, that's at max. Let's do, let's do that one. Sad, ooh, woo. Fuck, dude. Man, when they want you to stop playing, they're just like, yeah, it's time to die. That's the end. But that's that. That's hollow. And we've only got one more left, which is crazy. Okay. Our last game, the most recent, and I've been watching a lot of this. Asmongol played it. Shroud played it. Lyric played it. Fucking Minnie Mouse played it. This game... Looks sick. It's based off another very popular game. Also, weirdly, it's similar to Helldivers 2, which is another popular game at the moment. This is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor Danger Darkness Dwarves. Press almost any key. Press the any key. Sorry about that. All right. So it's got lots of stuff. Um, this actually didn't even come out that long ago. Lots of upgrades. No microtransactions. Three levels at the moment. Oh, shit. And you actually have to do stuff. I love that. Biome goals. And for... Whatever the fuck that symbol is, by completing other hazard levels and biomes to unlock this. I see. Okay. Scout. So there's four characters. I saw Asmund play like this one that had turrets. That's the one I'm really keen on. This one, Scout. The most nimble of dwarves. The scout relies on long range weapons and increased mobility to faster explore and escape the dangers of Hawk 6. Four. Classic. I'm gonna keep Oops. It classic. Oh well, we're in. Okay, I don't even know the controls. Okay, you can pause, which is good. Dude, there's no controls. <laughs> I do not know how to shoot. I'm guessing that's automatic too. This is a guess. Okay, it's automatic. Okay, good, 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 good. So, the goal of this, do we have an automatic shoot? <laughs> can make him say stuff. Okay, ooh, okay. So they hit, they hit very hard. I level up. We're gonna get that rare, right in there. So you've got a turret that helps, it seems. From what I've seen, the best thing to do is to not do that. I already just lost a lot of HP. Find the supply beacon. So is it automatic? I cannot tell if it's automatic or not. Okay, got him. Is that what this is? 
Uh oh. Oh, new weapons. Um, shotgun, quick firing. Shoots in four directions. Or cold damage. Let's do that. Fuck, dude. Come on. Boom! Dude. That was sick. Get small XP when mining rock. Okay. More XP. A legendary damage over time. Fuck yeah. Uh oh. I gotta get out of here though. Uh, more damage? Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Time to go. So that's what I don't get. Is it better to attack to kill to get out, or like, do you want to get th this XP, for example? Or does it not matter? Uh, go, 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 go. Ooh, okay. I'm in, I'm in. All right, so that was level one. Pretty good. Okay, shot. I mean, just get that, I guess. All right, when they all explode, it feels so good. Resistances, may as well. Uh, fire rate. Okay, let's go. Do they have to go around? Oh, I always forget about those guys. They are not friendly. Um, Let's do... I really need the supply drop. Could be anywhere. Don't touch me. Freak. Come on. Nice. Oh. Wow, dude. They be blowing up. XP gains. Level up again. Projectile damages. Get some more XP right here. Right, we gotta get in. Man, what a game! It's so fun! Okay. Fuck, I reckon we have to heal. Yep. Projectile. Time to reload. Yes, reload. Yeah. Alright. I'm level 38 already. Wait, what is this? Pull up. Um. Still weapon damage, I guess. Oh, dude. I don't know how I lived. Uh, damage minus the crit. Kill all these pricks. This is going very well. It's going swimmingly. Miningly. Whatever the appropriate term is. So, we don't need it yet. Good to have, though. We're mining. We're mining. Whoa. Ooh. Let's do epic. Okay. Grab our XP. Nice. Got a magnet. 6% XP. A lot quicker. Okay. Beautiful. I think the trick is to mine a bunch. That's what I'm learning. This is mining sim. And it, you just happen to shoot with it, you know? Okay, level up again. Rare one. Yeah, I love that it makes um choosing really easy too. Okay. Grab some of this. Yeah, I gotta mine more for sure, for sure. Uh -huh, I'm in a corner though. Let's get back to that thing, shall we? Okay. Go, 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 go. Mine, 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 mine. Make a little hole there. Oh, shit. Okay, is it coming out? Where was that egg? There. Oh, my God. There he is. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, how? Fuck. Okay. Dude. Brutal. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Oh, am I gonna live? I lived! I should not have survived that. That was silly. That was so silly. He keeps doing that. Okay, level up. I guess, yeah, we gotta do this HP. We got stuff. Oh, it wasn't even what I thought it was. Red sugar. Whatever that does. Nice. Oh, shit. That might have been it. Oh, there, there, there. He got me! Oh, I was having so much fun with that. Dude. Oh, he jumped on my booty. Oh, no, he jumped on it. Mm. Well, the bug squashed my booty this time. Secondary objectives unlocked. Now even more work per hour work. New artifact, new weapon. Wow. So how long was that? 22 minutes. It felt like a while, but it wasn't. Like, I think that wasn't even my longest run of a game. Wow, that was fun, man. That was fun. All right, that was fun as... Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, well, that's that. That is that. And so that's all five survival-like games that I've played in this video. Uh, what was your favorite? Let me know. For me, I'm gonna have to go with in order, uh, actually the last one we just played, which is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, for these reasons. Feels fresh, mining is fun, it's rewarding, the scaling of the game 
uh, is great. The graphics and the gameplay are awesome too. Funny humor. There's like epic moments with the bosses and the longevity and achievements just all add up to this amazing new fresh feeling game of a great IP that I know many people love. So actually that's my number one, surprising. Number two, Halls of Torment, because to me, like I said earlier in the video, Diablo 2 is actually like one of my favorite games of all time. I spent probably 5,000 hours in that game, not exaggerating. Offline, uh, I was, what, 11 years old, something like that when I got it. I remember the battle chest, uh, I was so good. And this felt like a lot like that Halls of Torment did. So it builds upon Vampire Survivors with the items and, and stuff like that. Um, it's actually hard. My, my thumbs, you know, I had to do physical fucking therapy afterwards uh, because the bosses actually had attack patterns and mechanics, um, which is amazing. Kind of like WoW almost. It was, it was great. Um, the price is really cheap. It's like three or five bucks, something like that. Um, and the devs clearly care and constant updates and things like that. So yeah, that's my number two. Death Never Dies and Vampire Survivors are probably tied third and fourth, but just for the sake of this, I'll say Death Never Dies is third place. Um, it gave me like a Hades vibe, which I really loved with the like the voice acting and the story and where it was going. I could see where it was going and I liked that. Uh, it's also have a cheap price. I felt very OP at the very start. Um, it did feel a little bit unfair and unbalanced a bit though uh, as it went on. Uh, like I couldn't regen health or get any health back whatsoever there were no real drops the items were the only real thing but there was, it felt like kind of just janky i don't like just like 30 gray items or white items like you don't need them no real epics um but the spells were good it was fun funny it's good oh and the hot hot bitches too so um but then number four is then yeah vampire survivors um it's obviously the og the goat the classic uh, I know it's not new, by the way, so you don't need to let me know. I, I know it's not like the first bullet hell survivor thing. You know, I played uh, those games growing up too. I know it's very similar. But for the sake of this, I feel that it spawned the new genre and the 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 renaissance of horde-like survivor games. So, yeah, but because of its age now, it's like, what, four, five years now? It feels a bit simple compared to the newer ones. Um... But yeah, still amazing, just not my goat. And then lastly is Hollow Cure or Hollow Live, whatever it's called. Uh, I thought it was pretty basic. There's lots of love in it, clearly. And it's free, which is amazing. Um, which means the devs like clearly love the community and the VTubing community, but that's not really my community or my vibe. So the theme itself, I don't really care too much about. Uh, whereas, you know, the D2 classic 90, mid 90s vibe, early 2000s, I love. Um, like the other ones. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's about it. It's still an amazing game, still awesome. And I still appreciate it. And I'd still play it again, probably not as much as the others. Um, but that's the thing. There's just so many of these games that there's like so much choice and variety. Uh, and it's amazing that they're relatively cheap and there's something for everyone. But yeah, that's my list. But yeah, despite all this, obviously Vampire Survivors is the go uh, because it started the whole genre. But overall, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think of my list. Uh, did you love it? Did you hate it? Am I completely fucking wrong and I'm a psycho loser casual gamer butthole? Obviously, but, you, you know, let me know. But also, finally, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment which of your favorite games, Survivor Likes specifically, didn't make the cut today. I only played five just for the sake of time. Um, but if you like this video... You know, share with your friends or, you know, share your favorite parts, comment your favorite parts or what else you'd like to see me cover. Uh, I know there's a lot out there. Um, so, yeah, please let me know. And if I get enough interest, I'll, you know, definitely do another video, maybe another five or six. And, uh, yeah, let's face it. There's a million, bazillion, quadrillion, gazillion, gablillion of them. And so, yeah, look forward to it. So thanks so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.